My oven is preheating. I've got all my ingredients out, and today I'm gonna to make some carrot and banana bread. First thing I need to do, got some chia seeds here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a binding agent, something that will keep my muffins together, and a little bit of soy milk. Mix this together, and then let it sit for a little while. My next activity, I have a lot of bananas here, actually two bananas, and normally I let my bananas get nice and brown, and then I will freeze them. Got a brown spot there, so that means it's nice and sweet now. So I'm gonna smash these up. Let that sit. The next thing that I'm gonna do is grade these carrots. I have a couple that are kind of old, have some bad spots on them, so I'm just gonna cut those off. There's nothing wrong with them. They go into the compost. And I'm gonna use the grater here. I'm gonna use a box grater. I'm gonna use the small sided. Um, it's really easy. I'm just going to go down. Yeah, there's about a cup of carrot. We'll call that good. I'm going to add my carrot right into there. Ooh, it's a hot day today. So there's my carrot and my banana. Mix that around a little bit. Using some avocado oil today. Normally I might use just some uh, canola oil. Let's go ahead and bring that back over. Dump that. Go ahead and use my spatula. Some vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Hold over so if I spill it goes in. Next we have apple cider vinegar. Two teaspoons. Use this. And one. And two. So there's my wet ingredients. Now for my dry ingredients. Who actually I forgot one thing. Let's do it with the syrup now. What do I have here? Some maple syrup. I'm gonna go with about a third of a cup. The recipe calls for a half, but I'm gonna cut it down some. Last of my liquid ingredients, gonna drop it right in here. Stir it around a bit, maybe grab my spatula one more time. So there's your mixture. Nice and liquidy. Now we're going to get our dry ingredients together. So I've got another bowl here for my dry ingredients. Uh, I'm going to start out with some baking powder. Baking powder has two teaspoons. I always kind of check to make sure it's not clumped up. It's not fun to get a big spoon of baking powder. So I'm going to take my spoon and kind of smash it around a little bit, make sure there's no chunks. Don't want to eat those later. There's one. I'm also going to get one teaspoon of baking soda. There's definitely some chunks in there, so I want to break those up. Next on my list, we have cinnamon. So one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Salt, quarter teaspoon. Oop, that's a bit much. Let's go back in there. Okay. And what else do we have? Baking powder, a splash of some nutmeg. Nutmeg's a great spice. Flour, two cups of flour. So I'm going to use a couple of different flours here. Um, I try to avoid white flour. Uh, it's just lost all of its vitamins and minerals. One and a cup of flour. Dump that in. And last but not least, I have some oat flour. this together all the dry ingredients now it's time to mix the dry and the wet together so here we go ah, terrible. you want to make sure that you blend it all together but you don't want to over stir it'll make your muffins tough and hard chewy uh, so just kind of mix it all so that you don't have any powder left. And there we are. Muffins are ready to go into the pan. So let me clear off some space. So I made a slight mistake here. I forgot to add my chia seeds in. Uh, it's not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and add them in, blend them in now. Uh, but you can see they're thick. 
They absorb about a hundred times their weight in water or moisture. And that's what's gonna bind my muffins together. I've got my chia seeds in there. <laughs> Mix it up. And I don't wanna over stir. I am super messy today. Trying to do everything in a hurry. Let's try this one more time. Get my muffin pan here. When you're filling up muffin pans, you wanna go about half full. come back and add more. I'm still kind of sloppy. Did much better this time, except mm. before I place these into the oven, I am going to try to get a little bit of the spilling off of the edges because that will just burn. We don't want that to happen. Did a terrible job of putting these in here. Who did this? If I really don't want it to burn, I'm going to have to scrape it off the top. A paper towel and there we go the best part about being a cook is that you get to try your own stuff mm. ready to put them in the oven so they're fresh out of the oven still a little bit hot Whew. this is the moment I've been waiting for Mmm, that was fantastic. 